ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक इज डिपेंडेंसी ग्राफ ओके सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज मीन बाई डिपेंडेंसी ग्राफ डिपेंडेंसी ग्राफ इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इजिएस्ट टॉपिक इन सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग ओके सो देर इज डिपेंडेंसी ग्राफ इज ऑलवेज इन डायरेक्टेड फॉर्म ओके आदर इन टॉप टू बॉटम और बॉटम टू टॉप मैनर डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ इन विच रिप्रेजेंट द इंटर डिपेंडेंसी बिटवीन सिंथेसाइज एंड इनहेरिटेड एट्रीब्यूट इन पास ट्री सो वॉट इज मेन बाई सिंथेसाइज एंड इनहेरिटेड एट्रीब्यूट वी ऑलरेडी सीन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ओके सो रिप्रेजेंटिंग डिपेंडेंसी ऑफ सेवरल ऑब्जेक्ट्स टूवर्ड्स ईच अदर ओके सो वेन वी जनरेट अ पर्टिक्युलर ट्री ईच एंड एवरी नोट्स इन द ट्री इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर राइट एंड डिपेंडेंसी ग्राफ कैन बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय ड्रॉइंग एजेस कनेक्ट डिपेंडेंट ऑपरेशन ओके सो वेन वी जनरेट अ ट्री वी यूज एरो राइट फॉर ईच एंड एवरी नोट रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो दिस एरो शोज द डिपेंडेंसी बिटवीन दिस नोट okay and dependency shows through past tree past tree data structure is used show dependency graph so there are some properties of dependency graph so treats every attribute as a node while tree generation each and every nodes have having particular value right second if b attribute need a and c then a and c calculated before b right so this property is useful while doing programming and dependency graph does not contain in any cycle which is dependent right any synthesized way or inherited way which is dependent on one another which does not contain any cycle every arc represent dependency relationship between attributes okay arc means arrow arrow shows the dependency who is dependent on which attributes right and if order of nodes m1 m2 up to mk then there is no path from mi to mj where i greater than j in this means the graph is generated in top to bottom or bottom to top manner which does not contain any cycle see one okay. example uh, if you are if you know that uh, how pass tree is generated and how to draw pass tree so it very easy to solve suppose given grammar is as produce t list right t produce int t produce float t produce character t produce double and list produce list 1 comma id this is the given grammar so dependency graph of this grammar is generated in the form of pass tree see as produce t list right t produce int float character and double and list produce list 1 comma id okay and at that time this arrow show in upward direction like so int float caret double is dependent on this t t is dependent on s right list one id is dependent on list and list is dependent on s so this is called dependency graph means each and every attributes in tree or in pass tree which is dependent on each other and which is shown by upward arrow upward arrow diagram okay example let's again there is one uh, there is given grammar is l produce e uh, up to f produce digit okay this is the given grammar and this is the semantic rules okay how semantic rules are generated we already seen in my previous video okay so e produce e1 plus t both are non terminal so in semantic rules is generated e dot value equal to e1 dot value plus t o dot value okay because each and every uh, nodes in grammar there are particular values are stored okay so dependency of this given grammar is c l produce e first statement and check in this tree l produce e e produce e1 plus t right e produce t right t produce t into f okay again t produce f t produce f and f produce digit dot lags well and at the last f produce digit and f produce digit digit dot lags well used for store all the numerical values right and the given string is 2 given string is 2 plus 4 into 5 5 into 4 20 uh, plus 2 equal to 22 see this 2 is depend on f dot value f dot value depend on t dot value and t dot value depend on e dot value e dot value depend on final root node that is e or l okay in this way each and every nodes are dependent on each other 
okay so there is particular sequential manner we can generate the path tree or sequentially we can store the data okay so this is a path from root to leaf node okay so this is the dependency graph generated from this grammar so there are some okay. important question explain dependency graph with example explain dependency graph of following grammar uh, it is very easy to solve you just need to know how to generate parse tree and implement the grammar and show the arrow in upward direction clear so this is all about dependency graph try to solve this problem thank you